Street right here on the team. joining us this time on Fishing with the Hillbillies. Now, today on Fishing with the Hillbillies, I'm going to do a little something that I call Fishing for Cousin Earl. Now, Cousin Earl, you might have heard me talk about him a little bit on my last episode. Uh, he was a really close cousin of mine that reeled himself down to the bottom of a lake. Here, this very lake in Louisiana. Louisiana, yes, that's right. I traveled all the way down here to fish him out of this lake. Now, I'm not going to do what he did and reel myself down to the bottom. Instead, I'm going to use a nice heavy hook here, just like this, folks, just like this. And a really heavy, heavy line, because Cousin Earl was kind of a fat soul. He ate, liked to eat a lot of pizza. And, actually, I brought his favorite kind of pizza today. It was black olive and cheese pizza extra on the sauce. So today, try to fit, catch uh, Uncle or Cousin Earl. I'm going to use some pizza in case he's still alive. So, the first things first, folks. I'm going to take a little bit of his pizza. I'm going to pull it on my line. Put it on my line. Boom. That's good. So, just like this. I'm going to cast it out there. See if I can catch Cousin Earl. Should be a good one, folks. Shoot, I think I... I think this is the spot he was fishing at, too, when he reeled himself to the bottom. It better be, because I'm not going to be out here all day. And I know you don't want to watch me all day. Oh, well, look... If that is Cousin Earl, he just ate the pizza off my line. I almost got myself hooked in the eye with that one. Taking out a piece if it gets off. This is something you can use for any ancestors or relatives that reel themselves to the bottom. You can always use their favorite kind of food on a hook. Put it down at the bottom, try to scrape it. You know, you never know if they're at the bottom you could hook. Uh, a good part to hook is the head. Really, really good part. But that's kind of what you want to do here. Just cast and reel, cast and reel, reel slowly though, because you want the hook at the bottom of the lake. Something that you're really going to want to bring with you when you're fishing for a human at the bottom of the lake is a plunger. Now you don't want a big plunger, you want a small plunger because you can really fit it in your hand, like that. Because what you're going to want to do is, if you really do get them hooked on the line, on the hook, when they get up towards the surface, you're going to want to stick that right on their head, just like that, stick it on their head, and then you're going to pull them out of the water. Works best if they're bald, which my cousin Earl actually is. So you're going to stick it right on their head and pull them out into your boat. Take them home, and sometimes I like to put them in a trophy case. Stick that right there. So, you're going to keep putting your pizza on your line. Aw, oh, shoot! Stinking line, this wind flipped my line and my hook around. I got a little tangle mess up here. Okay, really want a nice, nice strong roll of rock. Make sure it's nice and strong. Gonna get some more pizza on my line. You know, the other day, I was at the dentist's office. He told me, Herman, you are doing a mighty fine job at flossing your teeth. I said, yeah, doctor. I'll get it right in there real good. And I said, doctor, I got another thing for you. I, I was practicing some dance moves at my house, and I just wanted to show you. So I stood up right there while he was trying to pick my teeth. And I said, doctor, look at this. He said, Coming, that was a nice dance move you got there. I said, I'm not going to showbiz one day. Never know. 
So, what was I saying? Oh, fishing for her, oh, my cousin, her, I'm silly sometimes. Cast and reel, cast and reel. Cast and reel. What the? So, stinking took my pizza right off of there again. Put some more pizza on there. You never know what you're gonna get. Gonna get I'm gonna put this pizza on here real good this time. Really, really good. So, what you're gonna wanna do is cast out there really far. Woo! Gotta get out of here. I'm gonna get stuck myself. So, cast. Stinking, I think I got something this time. Ugh. Shoot! Shoot! What the? Oh my God! Cut it! There's what my cousin Earl's. This is gold teeth. Cousin Earl is here. I got him. This is my cousin Earl, folks. He had gold teeth. I pulled his gums right out of his mouth. I'm gonna get him, I know it. Feel sorry for him though, he lost his gold teeth, he paid a lot of money for. I think he paid his whole life savings for these suckers. Save those for later. So, I don't even know what to tell you now. Once you know, you got your relative at the bottom of the lake, you just gotta try your hardest. I know I got my cousin at the bottom of because I got his teeth. Stinking. I really wanted to use this plunger too. Plungers are kind of fun to use. Whatever, Louisiana. Taking my cousin Earl from me. Stinking. Okay. Real, cast in real. Put pizza on if you need it. A little dance moves helps too. <laughs> you know, sometimes when you're fishing for a relative, it's actually a good idea to bring a little boom box out. A boom box with a really long cord to stretch all the way to your uh, your cabin. That way you can actually play it. And what you could do is actually play their favorite music. And if your relative is alive, they just might come up to the surface and want to hear their favorite music. So that's one idea. I forgot about that when I left because I would have brought my boombox in that really long cord I bought last night. So, I don't have that. And the best I can do is use this pizza. I'm really going through this pizza fast, and that's not because I was eating it earlier, it's just because my cousin Earl must be eating it himself. But I don't know how he can because he lost his teeth. Ow. That hurt. Don't laugh at me. Fine, cousin Earl. I'm casting, I'm gonna try to get you this time. That's my foot. Like my foot. Oh! What the? Didn't even he's mad at me. My cousin Earl my cousin Earl must be mad at me because he's not even eating the pizza anymore. Stinking. That rotten piece of poop. That's what he is. A rotten piece of poop. Stinking piece of junk. I should have got a new rod. You always have a good rod and reel when you're casting out for your Got the stick of tree again! Watch out, folks. Shoot, a mile. Shoot. This is one of those times where I wish I wasn't fishing. I get a stinking tree, and I have to go get it out of the tree, and there's spiders in the tree. And then if a spider gets on me, I'll be really mad. Or I freaked out, too. But really mad, mostly. I hate spiders. One of my, one of my worst fears. And enemies. 
One time I was bit by a spider, right on the butt cheek. Thing, it was an open gash for weeks. And I went to school, and I was itching my spider bite on my butt, and the kids were laughing at me. So I hate, hated spiders. Spider scent. I'm gonna get really close in here. Trying to get this out. Where in the heck? What the? Oh. I think the tree must like my pizza. You know, at times like this, it's just good to say whatever and quit while you're ahead and you get bit by a spider. And I don't want another spider bite on my butt cheek. So what I'm going to have to say is, catch me next time, folks. I'll be here waiting for you to watch me again. Thanks for joining us on Fishing with the Hillbillies.